Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we're talking about postnatal incontinence. Now, you can use this information for all of your clients, from male, female, young, middle-aged, old. It's really important information and important to bring your clients awareness to and also getting them comfortable with just talking about it. So pregnancy, post-pregnancy, what we usually see is that a woman who's had a c-section is, um, is probably going to be having or suffering a little bit from urge urinary incontinence. If a woman has had a, a vaginal delivery, it's going to be more to the stress urinary incontinence. Now, the, the urge urinary incontinence can be brought on by things like putting the key in the door, driving into the, the driveway. Um, it's, it's kind of a neurological kind of response. And it's not understood totally but it has something to do with a, a disconnect, and that kind of makes sense with the C-section and having all of that damage of our fascial tissue in that area. We also see an urge incontinence frequency of going to the, the bathroom, urinating, even when there's just a little bit of urine. Stress incontinence is more if we're running, we're jumping, we're coughing, we're sneezing. We have, in pregnancy, we have all that weight of uh, the, the baby and the uterus. Um, so with those kind of things that will leak. Now, especially for, for urge incontinence, what is most important is that your clients start to bladder train. The bladder is like any other muscle in our body. And so it's really important that we are in charge of our bladder and our bladder is not in charge of us. So getting used to only urinating five to seven times a day, which is gonna be really, really hard for a lot of us. And each time you urinate, you wanna see that you are emptying uh, greater and greater amounts of urine. That's really, really important. Now, an exercise and a visualization for the pelvic floor that you can give to your clients to cue um, the right area of your pelvic floor is the following. So this is cueing the middle of the pelvic floor, which is talking to the transverse abdominis, the fascia of the transverse abdominis, and the bladder and the urethra. So you wanna visualize the opening of your urethra, which is very small right under the clitoris. And on the exhale, you wanna think about hugging the urethra closed without moving the bone. So without clenching around your pubic bone, especially without clenching around your sitting bones or your tail, and then gently let it go. And then try to rest 20, 30 seconds before you do another rep. So you can inhale and just breathe into the whole body, and then less is more. On a soft, tension-free exhale, you're just visualizing hugging that urethra closed. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject, or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time, and never stop learning.